Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and we are at the Battle of Little Rock, right where we left off at the end of the last episode. Uh, we are going to assault the Union position, and hopefully, God willing, take it and push them out. Uh, this is going to be a much-needed victory. Um, we do outnumber the enemy, so I'm expecting... I'm expecting the most from my uh, forces, to be honest with you. But that's up to me to uh, make sure they provide it. Uh, like I said at the end, we're going to try and get our cavalry ar around the uh, flanks of the enemy and hit them while our, um, while our infantry brigades move in on the center. So let's end this deployment phase and start the actual battle. Uh, let's move you up to the fence line here. I'm just going to move everybody up fairly slow. Not really sure what I have in terms of uh, available skirmishers. I'm going to move you over here like this. Uh, I'll get you up right behind him. Now it's bright and early in the morning, so we are ready for a fight. And we're going to give it to the Union. Sun is rising. Whoever lives in this house is about to have a really bad day as their backyard turns into a very bloody affair. Once we get everybody up into their uh, positions, I'm going to see if I can bring some skirmishers out and Get the first shots fired here. Okay. Be a good place to set up artillery right here out in the open. Have you come up over here now that you're in position? These guys are making their way up. Hopefully having these guys out like this will give me a little better field of vision as to what what I'm up against here. Walker's Greyhounds. Goodbye. There we go. Okay, let's keep Price moving. Hopefully I don't get him killed. Okay. 
What are you waiting for? All right, they got some cavalry of their own in the woods. Get you moved up over here. Right. Start the advance. Not sure what this guy's up to. Put you right here. Now they're in the woods. Doesn't really seem like a very good defensible position there. Given that all of, we have this cover we can come through. But if they sit back in the woods like that, then so do they. Hey, Marmaduke. Self moved up. Hey, Walker's 3,600 men are going to come up into the middle. Doesn't look like uh, our inf or our artillery is doing very good get keeping up, but uh, he's got a feud. There he is. Stand wait. First Indian Brigade. He's under. Samuel Maxey. Stan Waite obviously wants his own command, and that was what I was looking for in the, the uh, last episode, was him specifically. He looks like a grizzled uh, cavalry vet. A little plump, but I'm sure he could fight. Okay, let's get you up over here. Like I said, I'm just moving them slowly in increments. So we see what everybody does. Have you go in single line? Or I don't think we've uh, exchanged shots with the enemy. All right. Bring our arty out into the open here. I 
cavalry start forming up. Cavalry attack through the woods. Okay, Walker, let's uh, get your skirmishers out. Slow this down to a normal speed here. We're bringing our skirmishers up. This. Bring you out over here. Get our artillery right up into this clearing. Uh, actually, bring our arty out over here. We'll have you join them. Cavalry moved up on our left. A dismount. Our shots are now being fired. Start bringing Walker up. Oh, wait, he's First in action over here. Got himself a detachment coming at him. Oh no, that's not what I wanted you to do. I do not want you to evade.
Let's get you up to fill in the line here. Fulton Green. So the Independent Brigade is coming under fire from three dismounted cavalry brigades of our own. Artillery moving in into position here. Let's get you get you over here. Hey, dismount. Losses are starting to melt for the Independent Brigade. Oops, nope, nope. Put you in on this detachment that's coming up. Fire on this. Uh, we have detachments. Yep. Have you fire on these guns? <clears throat> Get in there and hit those guns. Brigade on this detachment here and try and distract them a little bit. artillery these guns need to get up and a target for you first brigade seems pretty good you'll never get there in time but our full brigades are slowly making their way up.
I want you coming in over here. And Parson, your division. Uh, actually, cancel that. I'm going to bring you up over here for now. Trying to sneak down the side of the map here. Bring you up over here. Slowly, slowly start pushing up. and keep our line steady here. Scurry's low on ammunition. Scurry's detachment's low on ammunition. These brigades are taking forever to come up through this field. We can break these, uh... Three, or these two... Detachments of their own. He's, he looks like he's pulling back. And that detachment. Okay, meanwhile, up in the north. Not too bad, not too bad. Heavy cover for first brigade, so they're not doing very good. General Shelby was wounded.
Shelby's Brigade. Mount up. I'm gonna charge these guns. Let's actually call back our. Uh, our skirmishers here. Now that our full brigades are coming into play. these men. Third Brigade's taking a beating out front here. These guys are still not firing. as the Civil War phone rings. Why haven't you pulled back? All back. Just stand up there and get shredded. low on ammunition.
or seeing what's happening here. Stand weights low on ammo. Almost 30% casualty rate for them. 11 for us. Second Indian Brigade is taking losses, so they're not doing too good here. Pretty sure these guys are stuck here for some reason. Won't let me move them at all. These guys are tired as hell, trying to move into position. More artillery, not doing anything. They broke him. Major victory. Send the guy that's low on ammo up to duke it out. There goes these guys here. reposition the fire on first brigade let's come up to uh, the eight of these guys that are just kind of stuck in the field doesn't look like they're taking any more losses but they're not moving anywhere Texas artillery idle Tappan's brigade still moving into position. He's holy shit, Parsons. Good job, Parsons. They're retreating, so that's a good thing. We've already got the major victory, so we'll uh, just continue to fire on them as they leave. Picking my targets at random here. Forty two per set. See if we can get any of these guys to uh surrender. Not looking likely. They're just kind of vanishing right off the map. Let's 
second brigade. Let's have you mount up. Urge. Mount up. Charge. And other than that, we're going to let him go. Mosby Parsons over here did absolutely nothing, but he's determined, so. Quentin Tarantino lookalike held in the rear while everyone else uh, did the hard work. Good job. Going to have to do something about that in uh, due time, I guess. Not even moving. Look how now they're moving. We can capture, oh, I guess not. All right, so uh, we only lost 261 infantry, but we did lose uh, 2,400 cavalry. Not surprising, since they were first and heaviest engaged. Uh, they lost all of their guns, uh, 5,000 out of 12. I'd say that's about 75% of their cavalry they lost. Uh, major victory near Little Rock. Let's take a look real quick at, uh, I guess it's not going to let me, it's not going to let me do this either. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at the report. Uh, nope. Never figure this out here. 7th Corps. Yeah, what's happening here? Frontier Division. It says everyone's routed. Unless I'm looking at the wrong one. All 7th Corps. Here we go. So, uh, wounded four seventy one. Consolidated combat report. All right. Well, never mind. Let's play to quit battle. Play. All right. There we go. All right. Glorious victory at Little Rock. Enemy has reportedly suffered total casualties of 5,046 men. <clears throat> 668 killed, 725 captured. Unstable morale. Uh, we lost 408, 421 missing. We've captured 2,646 rifles, 13 guns. And we have some new POWs. So let's go to where that took place. Battle of Little Rock. It'll soon be in our hands. Uh, let's see. We have uh, another city that we were taking over here. Not that far south.
They are working on closing the front lines a little bit. Here. He's moving in on Jackson. Get him moving right now. Uh, General Patton. Get yourself to Vicksburg. Let's have the three ships of the uh, Freeport Squadron come down here. And once these guys here get their readiness up, uh, we're going to start moving themselves. Looks like I already have orders to move themselves, so he's coming up. So we're closing the gap. Closing the gap over here. And down in the middle here, uh, Mobile, uh, District of the Gulf. Might not be a bad idea to beef him up a little bit. Let's see what we can do here. District of the Gulf. we got and we don't really have anyone unfortunate Southwest Virginia. Use a few more men. Kind of stood back and watched. Not, not switching any of these things over here when I click on them. Yeah, something wrong. All right. Well, I'm not going to mess with it. Well, uh, there may or may not be something wrong with the game. But we are uh, burning Little Rock to the ground. And we got a major victory there, so it's a step in the right direction. Anyway, that's going to do it for episode number seven. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you have any thoughts, tips, or advice, leave those in the comment section below. If you'd like to follow along with the Confederates as they try and pull a rabbit out of a hat, hit the subscribe and you can come with us. Hope you guys liked the episode. Eh, it was pretty fun to fight. And we'll see you uh, for the next one. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.